Welcome to my channel. Additional duplicate invoice check feature in Oracle Cloud Payables. What is our agenda? First, what is additional duplicate invoice check? Additional duplicate invoice check is a feature which sublimits the existing duplicate invoice check to find the potential duplicate invoices based on invoice number. The advanced feature identifies the duplicates during the invoice entry based on the combination of supplier plus invoice type plus invoice amount plus invoice currency and invoice date. How it works? For invoices created through the UI, UI means user interface, the duplicate invoice check is done when the invoice is saved. The check is performed based on the combination of multiple invoice attributes as we said supplier, invoice type, invoice amount, invoice currency and invoice date. System displays a warning message to use it if the invoice is identified as a duplicate and the user will have two options to perform. The first option he can review later this action will place the invoice on duplicate invoice hold and it is manually releasable hold. User can review and release the hold. The second option continue. This action will allow the user to continue to work on the invoice. However, to track that the action taken by the user system will place the duplicate invoice hold and automatically release the hold. Regarding the invoices which is created through import, duplicate invoice hold is applied on all duplicate invoices identified using the above explained logic post import users have to review and release this hold from the user interface what about invoice created through import we already talked about it additional information here additional duplicate invoice check is only applicable for standard and the prepayment type of invoices additional duplicate invoices doesn't check the invoice number as an attribute to identify potential duplicate invoice. Additional duplicate invoice doesn't perform a check on auto-generated invoice such as pay on receipt, pay on use, intercompany and debit memo invoices. These features only available from release 12 now we will get into the application to show you how to set up steps regarding additional duplicate invoice check so let's go to our oracle once you log in you have to go to setup and maintenance for this access, the application implementation consultant rule must be assigned to your user. Then you can go to the My Enterprise Setup and Maintenance. You can select any financial or anything because we are going to make a global search from the task panel and search here you will search by manage standard lookup manage standard lookup manage standard lookups In the manage standard lookups you can come 
down for the search and click to add button you can enter the lookup a new lookup as add under school duplicate underscore in underscore check here the meaning you can enter additional duplicate invoice check here you put I description no need you can select it or not the module you will select papers you can search apples okay commitment leave it as a user and secure then this is how to add the lookup the lookup code also you can add down for duplicate but once you save this first you can go to down and add the lookup code click add go to down lookup code you can add the lookup here Duplicate underscore invoice underscore check display sequence you can enter or not. You have to select the enabled and the meaning here again duplicate additional. you can enter enable duplicate additional invoice check so here the lookup type lookup code checkbox the enabled enter the meaning lookup configuration level user module is Payables. Search by the manage standard lookup. So now you can save and close. Again, if you try to search, you can enter here the lookup type. Click search. Or here you can enter the description, search, here the meaning, Can search by peoples. Okay, search. You will find the add duplicate invoice check. This is the lookup type. So save and close. Now I'm going to Oracle Peoples to create one invoice and create another invoice with the theme with the same data as I said before what is our combination here this is our combination supplier invoice type amount currency and invoice date so let me navigate to Oracle search for 
pebbles, greeting voice, We put the theme combinations for the post of invoices to check it will validate or not. Check, sorry, select the business unit. What is your supplier? Here, Alex. Here is a number I will enter duplicate. Currency amount 1000 standard the date. So, our combination here, let me minimize this. As you see here, supplier invoice type as standard, the number, the amount and the currency and the invoice date so let me continue to enter the lines the expenses what is the amount 1000 here I can select my code combination I will cars ok Go to right, there is no that. Save. Then you can make validate and approve if you enable the approval. Now it's saved, you can check fund if you enabled budgetary control else you can validate now I press on validate now the document sequence is generated so I can go to force approval it's once you click here you find manually approved close it then you can Post to ledger and counting has been completed. Now I'm going to take to create the second invoice with the same combination, the same supplier, the same number, amount, currency, date to check once I saved the second invoice the system will give me one of two options either review or confirm so I will save and close document sequence okay I will so I will click create select again business unit supplier the same site invoice number I will make duplicate let me first try to enter duplicate and then we can select another number to check our feature is working or not the same date everything go to lines amount 1000 what's your distribution combination Select your segment values. OK. Go to right. I will not calculate any VAT. Now, if you try to save, the system will give you error that the invoice already exists before. And this is not our aim from this topic because our topic to duplicate check the invoice so I will click OK I will add two once I add two the system will give me two options let me try to save here this is our warning 
depends on our good or the combination of this invoice has the same supplier, invoice date, amount, currency and the invoice duplicate 3 before this one is not. Please verify that this invoice is not duplicated. So this is our aim from this video that the system give you two options either review letter, review letter means this action will place the invoice on a duplicate invoice hold and it is manually releasable hold user can review and re release the hold if you click on continue this action will allow the user to continue to work on the invoice however to track that the action taken by the user system will place the duplicate invoice hold and automatically release the hold so now the system double checked that there is one invoice before as a duplicate 3 and this is duplicate 2 so after you got this warning and these two options you will confirm that your setup for the feature of the lockup code is working fine but if you didn't get this warning message and this is two options that means that your configuration is not working or you still not define the standard lockup as I did before or you already set up the but maybe you disabled or not completed let me try to review later we can check here you will find that there is manually hold because as I told you review later it will be hold and it is manually releasable if you check here duplicate invoice you can enter a duplicate invoice the hold releasable reason and you can save in the close here the number is saved once you click again here you will find the invoice hold is your manual is resolved I hope now you got our agenda for what is duplicate invoice check how it works what about invoices created through import what about the additional information regarding this only applicable for standard and prepayment and how to set up and how to practice to create two invoice with the same number in different digit like this appreciate your comment i hope to subscribe my channel thanks for watching